Hey everyone, Leo with the Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our Pilgrim wine bottle wrapper. Now this is the girl version. I've got all my pieces cut out, as should you. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with, well, I've already kind of laid it out somewhat. Okay, we're going to start off with the main layer here, which is the white layer. We're going to glue down this layer here. Okay, and I'm just going to grab my reference here. I don't want to goof this up. Okay, we're going to glue this down onto the white piece. Now I did go through and as much as I could, I inked the various elements just to make them pop a little bit more, make them look a little more grungy because let's face it, fall is, you know, it's that transitional period and things start to kind of degrade a little bit and the leaves start to change colors and get a little gritty. Okay, let's line that up as accurately as we can. There we go. Well, that was a total fail. Total fail on my alignment there. So I'm going to try that one more time. And I make mistakes sometimes too because what I was what I wasn't doing was paying attention. I usually will find myself a uh, focal point and right now I'm going to use the the collar right here and just make sure that that is lined up accurately and then voila what do you what do you know the rest of it just falls into place okay I'm going to use my brayer press that down and that actually moved it a little bit that's okay we've still got more layers to put on this so we're going to be okay next is this layer here I just want to double check something here real quick, make sure I'm doing all this right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to use this layer next. This is the pattern layer that we're using for her dress and other elements. So let's get our glue on that. And as I mentioned in the last video, for the male version of this, um, this would be a great little gift if you're attending Thanksgiving and you want to bring a bottle of wine or if you are decorating your own table, this could be part of the decor. So it's, you know, it's functional because it's a bottle of wine. I'm sure there'll be some people, not always, enjoying some wine. You could also wrap this around that sparkling, that sparkling wine that is non-alcoholic that the kids drink. It's like a soda, basically. I think it's usually um, apples, like ferment. Well, I guess it's, I don't know if it's fermented or not. Okay, so we're gonna put this layer down next and you just wanna match it up with the eyeballs, obviously, and the mouth. And then the rest of it should kind of fall into place. It's a scary looking head there. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna put this piece on. All right, let's get our glue flowing here. Get it all the way out to the bottom. Okay. Now it is a little uh, delicate there where the top of, I think it's a bonnet, I guess you'll call it a bonnet, meets the collar portion. So be careful not to rip that or anything. I'm gonna just slide that down just a tad. Okay, now she actually has some hair and that is this piece here almost looks like two little leaves. So just put a few little drops of glue on that. You don't need a ton. And that's gonna pop into this section here like a little puzzle piece. And that should sit perfect like that. Okay, now we do have a tiny little nose, just like we had with the other one. And I have it in my little case there so I don't lose it. We'll throw a little tiny dot of glue inside the cutout for the nose and then just drop that right in there. This is where my pick me up tool would have been very handy. And that's okay. That went nice. That works. Looks good. Okay, so next we can do a few things. We can put her shoes on. 
Let's get her old pilgrim shoes in place. Now there's only one layer for this. With the male version, we had two layers, so we had that little that little white element showing through. And there are some little details here on the shoes, so just be careful, but definitely get a little bit of glue on there. And that's gonna go right down here, like so. Okay, there we go. Now we can begin working on the, well, let's put the, the dress part together here. That's gonna go right in here, just like a little puzzle as well. Okay, so let's get our glue on the back of this. Like so, and just snap that right into place. Okay. And we have this little black piece. It's gonna go right on top of that last piece that we just put down. And it kind of, kind of dips in the middle so that you know if you have it right side up. Like that. Make sure you have it nice and centered. There we go. Okay, and that just leaves the turkey portion. So what we're gonna do there is we've got a white portion, then we've got this piece, okay? And then we're gonna put this piece on, okay? Then we're gonna take and put this piece on up here like that. Then we have, oh, wait a second here. Yeah, that's right, like that. And then we've got the cuffs. So white piece first, then this piece. I just wanted to double check so that I don't look silly. Because as much as I've already kind of uh, assembled this in my head, so to speak, I still just want to make sure I don't goof it up. Okay, so this brown piece is going right there. Now, actually, you know what I just realized? I didn't ink that, and I totally can. So I'm going to. Uh, it's strange that I missed that, but it's okay. It's not too late. So all of the inking that I did essentially was this method here. I've got my applicator. There's way too much ink on that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go all the way down here. Let's start there. This is gonna kind of help the, the turkey pop a little bit. And I got a little bit on the brown, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Okay, so next, we're gonna take and glue down this piece, okay, this pattern piece. And that's kind of for the, for the bowl. So just line that up as accurately as you can. Here we go. Now we can take the next little brown piece and that's the leg of our turkey. And then there's also this little overlay piece that we'll, we'll show you here in a second. But get that in place right there, right towards the top, just like that. Okay, now we have this little squiggly piece that's gonna go over the little squiggly area on the previous layer. Just a few little dots. Don't need to overdo it there. Okay, that'll kind of create some separation between these two sections, there we go, beautiful. Get that in place, and now we can put our hands in place. Let's get some glue on that. Maybe a little bit on the, on the thumbs there. And glue that down, just like that. And then we have some cuffs. Okay, and there's kind of like a little hook element. The hook element is gonna be towards the bottom as far as orientation goes. So it's just a lot easier if you know that. And then we have some little holes there. I actually have some gold elements that I've cut out to put in there so that she has little um, gold cuff links or buttons. I'm not sure if those are cuff links or buttons. I don't think, I, my, uh, my clothing vocabulary and anatomy is not not the best. Okay, so again, I've got these little gold elements here. I'm just gonna drop a tiny little dot of glue in there and just drop that right in. Should fit like a little puzzle. And then just press that down. There we go. I'll we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll grab my last little piece here. 
and drop that in. Okay, and then finally, we're gonna take this whole piece and glue it down to Miss Pilgrim here, or Mrs. Pilgrim, I should say. Okay, and just glue that right down. And again, this has got a really cool sort of folk art look to it. I'm really pleased with how the design came out. Okay, all right, so she's done. Um, I've got some gold string here. I'll tie a little bow and actually hot glue the bow right uh, to the, just right in this area here. I'll point to it with, with my, right here, just right about there. Okay, so you can take a look at the photo for that. I'm sure you guys know how to tie a bow. And now we're gonna grab this here, grab our bottle. I took the label off of mine, you don't have to. And now this bottle, or our other one, was kind of curved going up. Uh, this one is flat. Now, if yours is not as straight and yours kind of, you know, um, kind of curves up or in more, or is it maybe a little bit thicker at the bottom, thinner at the top, you may end up with a little bit of an overlap like that, and that's okay. It's not a problem. Okay, so what we're going to do, just make sure that we have it on nice and straight. I'm going to take and put a little bit of glue here. And then I'm going to put a thin line here, and I'm going to take that glue and spread it out to the very edge of this piece. We want that to be nice and seamless. Okay, so now we're gonna keep this nice and tight, nice and taut, and just press that down. It's wrapped all the way around. Shouldn't really have any um, slack there. It should be pretty tight. Not too tight, I mean, obviously it's slippery, so it'll still move and you know allow you to adjust it if you want, but there we go, okay, and then what we're gonna do, now I'm bringing out my other bottle because I have to photograph these. I just wanna make sure that I keep these, uh, these little wrappers at the same height just so that they look similar. Okay, so that's the height I need it at. And then what we're gonna do is just glue that right to the wrapper. Okay, so let me show you this from the other angle here. I'm just gonna glue it right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a nice line of glue down the center of my pilgrim, okay? And I wanna keep the seam in the back, obviously. Now, I'm gonna bring this back up because I moved it on accident. Okay, so let's take a little bit of glue. We don't, we don't need to start down below the feet. I think right about here is fine, uh, up to the, about the neck. Just do a thin line right down the center, okay? And then I'm gonna use my table to make sure that her feet are touching. And I'm just gonna press that right up against the main part of the wrapper, okay? So as I mentioned, I'll finish her off with a little bow. And then take a look at the final photo. I'm also gonna add a little bit of raffia at the top uh, around the neck of the bottle, just so that, um, just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Uh, I'm showing you this one because they look really cute together. Um, this one is not included in a bundle, they're separately. I mean, if you buy the entire bundle, you can get both of them, but that's pretty much it. Very quick, very simple, but cute. And we'll definitely, um, we'll definitely have some people talking this year at your Thanksgiving, I'm sure. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and visit our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit the little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our new Thanksgiving bundle, I would love to see it and so would the rest of our fans. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, or you can type in this little URL that you see here at the bottom. So anyway, I had a, I had a blast making these. They're quick and cute. And um, I know I'm going to get some great feedback from my recipients, as I'm sure you will as well. So with that said, as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section, where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.